Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we are going to see 1. Introduction to Automated Discounts Feature 2. Prerequisites 3. Steps to follow within the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app 4. Customize website for price acceptance 5. Request review by Google 6. Launch and ramp up schedule Chapter 1. Introduction. Having trouble determining how much special discount to offer? If you offer a low discount, you won't increase traffic to your store because it won't bring more traction with your product listings, and if you offer a heavy discount, you may get more traffic and conversions, but you may end up losing your profit share. With Google's automated discounts feature, you can dynamically offer an optimal discount without any hassle. Automated Discounts, or Smart Product Discounting, is a new initiative taken by Google that will help to increase engagement with e-commerce websites and in turn, improve conversions and conversion rates by providing special discounted pricing to any potential customer who has been referred to a website via a click on the shopping ads. This aims to automate the entire process to make it happen almost in real time to save time, effort, and cost and at the same time attract more potential customers to increase the shopping ads traffic for the website and outpace the competition. So it intends to convert in-market audience into paying customers by offering a competitively lower discounted pricing, calculated almost in real time by Google, after taking into account numerous parameters and factors. Before we get into actual opt-in and implementation of the automated discounts feature, there are a few prerequisites that all participants must meet. Chapter 2. Prerequisites. An active Google Merchant Center account with active products that are part of shopping ads and or free listings. Product data must be submitted along with values for cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes. Active web conversion tracking with cart data reporting in your Google Ads account. Participant's website or landing page must be able to accept and honor Google-provided discounted product prices from the URL, which must be the same throughout the checkout process. Seems a bit complicated and too technical? No worries, our app's Process Google Shopping Feed app has a comprehensive feature to make this process easy for you. Continue watching to know how our app helps. Chapter 3. Steps to follow within the Simprosis Google Shopping feed. We begin by logging into Shopify using the store owner account or any other Shopify account with admin level privileges. We need these privilege levels to update app's permissions successfully. We need to navigate to the app section from the Shopify store admin panel and open the Simprosis Google Shopping feed app. Please hover over the settings menu and click on automated discounts. We are now presented with the automated discounts page, which is displaying a temporary prompt for you to update the additional permissions that the app would require. Click the update app button. In Shopify, we are presented with a permissions upgrade page that lists the permissions our app will have after the update. The new permissions are discounts under the view and sync discounts section and the theme and script tags beneath edit your online store. To accept the updated permissions, click the update app button in the bottom right corner. Thereafter, you'll be taken to the automated discounts page within the app. This time, instead of the update prompt, it displays a success message. Here, we will enable the automated discounts feature by checking the box and clicking save. It will display another prompt with some important notes which are worth going through. Then click on Yes button. Once enabled, step 1 will turn green, indicating that it is now complete. You will need to complete all five steps in order to launch this feature effectively for your store. We can now move forward to the next step. Chapter 4. Enable Web Conversion Tracking with Cart Data Reporting. This is another crucial step for effectively opting in and implementing the automated discounts feature. This must be done initially in order to supply Google with at least 14 days of cart data for conversion tracking reporting. This will allow Google to comprehensively monitor, assess, and optimize the operation and performance of the automated discounts feature. 
you can enable this feature from our app automatically by linking your Google Ads account. Let's see how you can do it. Please navigate to the Tracking Tags option from Main Menu. That will expose the Google Dynamic Remarketing Tagging and Conversion Tracking option. Click on it. To visit the page, which is currently displaying an option to sign in with Google Ads. But if you have already enabled this feature from our app, as illustrated here, you can skip to Chapter 5 of this video. For now, please click on the Sign in with Google button to begin with. This will prompt you to select your Google account. Please use a Google account with admin level privileges for your Google Ads account. You need to accept all the permission that the app may request so that the app is able to implement the tracking tags. On the following page, you will be requested to choose the Google Ads account from the drop-down menu. If you have a Google Ads MCC account, then you will need to choose it first, and then you will be presented with another drop-down menu to choose your Google Ads account. Please click on Link Your Account to proceed. Following that, you'll be given a choice to enable conversion tracking with lead tracking for Add to Cart and Begin Checkout, as well as enable dynamic remarketing tagging. All of these are strongly recommended as they provide the core structure to run the Performance Max or other paid shopping campaigns successfully and effectively. So we are proceeding ahead by clicking on Continue button. At the next step, you would be given an option to choose existing conversion actions, which are already created in your Google Ads account. You can also create new conversion actions automatically by using the option available near the bottom. We are choosing existing conversion actions from the list for each category and continue with the process. That is it, you have successfully enabled dynamic remarketing tagging as well as conversion tracking with cart data reporting for your store. Upon checking the automated discounts page, step 2 is also now marked as completed. Hence, you can now leave this page and move ahead with the next set of processes. At this stage, define the values for the cost of goods sold and auto pricing minimum price attributes. A separate help video will walk you through the process of assigning values to these attributes using multiple ways, which will help you complete step 3. The link is mentioned in the description box below. Chapter 6. Customize Website for Price Acceptance. In the next stage of feature implementation, you will need to make changes to your website so it can accept and honor Google-provided product prices. Once a merchant opts in for this feature, they must modify their product landing page and checkout to honor the Google-provided discounted product prices from the URL for any specific visitor from the shopping ads traffic. So, the same special discounted pricing is displayed on both the product details page and the cart page. Visitors must be able to check out products at the same discounted price with an automatically applied discount coupon. But do not worry about this step as well. As soon as you enable the feature from our app, it automatically inserts a JavaScript code into your website. Furthermore, till this functionality is in beta mode, it will raise a support ticket for us to verify and test if it is working properly. We will also make any necessary changes to your store's theme if needed to accept and display Google-provided product prices. We will also mark step 4 as completed once we are done with the verification. Chapter 7. Request review by Google to get the account whitelisted. Once you have completed the preceding implementation processes, you are ready to submit a request to Google to have your Google Merchant Center account assessed and whitelisted by the concerned team. For now, we are also taking care of this step. We will fill the form and email Google team to review your account and get it whitelisted. So if you see step 5 also marked as completed, that means your account is already whitelisted. On the other hand, you can also submit a Google review request by visiting the automated discount option under the growth tab in your Merchant Center account. You can also contact Google at auto discount support at google.com. A full review will go through end-to-end -end testing, starting with displaying ads and ending at checkout. Once a review is completed, Google will let you know if it finds any issues or will give you go-ahead by approving your account. Chapter 8. Launch and Ramp-Up Schedule. 
Once the review is completed and the account is approved, Google will contact you to request authorization to start the ramp-up process as the ramp-up schedule described below. Ramp-up schedule, first stage. Discounts shown to 1% of customers. Second stage. Discounts shown to 20% of customers. Third stage. Discounts shown to 50% of customers. Final stages. Discounts shown to more than 50% of customers. The time between each ramp-up stage will generally be less than 7 days. Google will notify you when a new stage begins. You may view your ramp-up percent at any moment in Merchant Center by navigating to the Performance tab and selecting Automated Discounts. If you still have any queries or concerns or need any assistance, please feel free to get in touch with our support team using the Get Support widget located in the bottom right corner of our app. See you on the other side.